All right, let's try to factor y squared minus x squared plus 6x minus 9. So this is another one that's a little bit tricky. If you have a four-term polynomial, in most cases, you want to try grouping first. You'll see that grouping isn't going to get you anywhere here. So the next thing is, if you're looking at this problem and you're trying to factor it, you might notice that x squared plus 6x minus 9 is similar to, okay, but not exactly, a perfect squared trinomial. So if you had x squared minus 6x plus 9, notice that this sign is different, this sign is different, and this sign is different, this would be a perfect square trinomial. So this would be x minus 3 quantity squared, okay? So if I could somehow get this to match this, I could factor it to this, and then I would have y squared basically minus the quantity x minus 3 being squared, so I'd have the difference of squared, okay? So that's the idea here. So first, let's tackle the problem of how do we change the form here? Well, we're just going to factor out a negative. So I'm going to have my y squared. I'm going to put my minus here, okay? And then I'm going to open up some parentheses. And inside here, all of these signs are going to change, right? Because I'm factoring out a negative. So instead of minus x squared, I'm just going to have x squared. Instead of plus 6x, I'm going to have minus 6x. Instead of minus 9, I'm going to have plus 9. Okay, if you distribute the minus to each term inside the parentheses, you'll be back to your minus x squared, your plus 6x, and your minus 9. Okay, so now I can factor this and say this is y squared minus. Inside the parentheses, I'm going to do x minus 3, okay, quantity being squared. So this matches our format of a squared, right? So in this case, your y is your a, then minus your b squared. In this case, the quantity x minus 3 is your b. Okay, so this is a plus b, that quantity, times a minus b, that quantity. Okay, so really, it's not that hard of a problem. You're just going to match the format here. Okay, so let me go ahead and put equals here. Let me change my color up a little bit. So everywhere you see an a, you're just going to put a y. Okay, so here a is squared, here y is squared. You're just swapping letters out, basically. So let's go ahead and set this up, and I'm just going to put my y here. Okay, and then you have a plus sign here. Okay, so you have y, then plus. Then you have your b. Okay, so when you work with this problem, I would suggest using parentheses. So I would first put this as x minus 3 like this. Now, in this particular case, because this is addition here, it's not going to change anything. So you can really just drop the parentheses. But in a moment, you're going to see that you really need them. Okay, so we have our a, which was y. We have our plus sign. And then we have our b, which is the quantity x minus 3. So that first part is set up. Now, moving on to the second part over here, my a, again, is just y, okay? Then I have minus. Now, because I'm subtracting away this x minus 3, this quantity, I want to make sure that I use parentheses here. So let me wrap this in parentheses. For my b, I'm going to put my x minus 3 in here. Again, that's a very important thing that you do so that you don't make a sign mistake, okay? So I've got my a, which is y. I've got my minus sign, and I've got my b, which is the quantity x minus 3. And again, I've wrapped this in parentheses because I have this subtraction here, and I want to subtract away the whole thing. Okay, so that's very important. So let's get rid of this. And now we just want to simplify this a little bit further. Basically, you would just distribute the negative here to each term. So this would be minus x, okay, and then this would be plus 3. Okay, so this would be your final answer. If you wanted to factor this, you would get this y plus x minus 3, this quantity, multiplied by the quantity y minus x plus 3.